Elio guys and welcome back so version 1.7.9 has finally been added to the game which may explain people having some issues with connectivity especially last night because I was in the middle of raid and then the uh, notice hit me and kicked me out but that's okay that's okay let's see what we have going on here so Khan Balik has been added that is a new area for us it's beyond the new desert looks pretty L Chronicle like so um, not much to really say about it, I mean, it's just a new area, so hopefully we have some more action going on there. Um, Peng and Reinhardt now have costumes, which they definitely deserve it. We always get waifu love, um, hint, hint, Lee only getting like 85 costumes, but it's nice that they're finally getting some um, love as well, and I definitely like that Peng, that Peng costume. I mean, that looks OG. Uh, the Reinhardt one's pretty cool as well, so that is wonderful. Um, pets have been added to the game as well, and here's another little pet menu, I guess, showing what they do. And to upgrade pets, we can get it from growth to pet to the forge menu to upgrade them. And for fusing your pets, you need two pets in the same tier of maximum level. By fusing two pets, you can attain higher tier pet, and you can fuse your pets. Um, I believe the pets cost like a currency, which I don't currently have. I'm not really sure if this is farmable, which it probably isn't. It might be from purchase only, so it's interesting to see how that's going to play out. But um, they do bring stats to your character. As we can see right here, that's 160 physical attack added, and this is only tier 2. And then 3.6% critical attack amount added. I mean, it's not too much, but in theory, it could help, especially in the long run. Um, some balance. Da balance changes. Balance changes, I'm assuming that they're saying. Five additional levels of difficulty for four different missions added. Um, the 56 to level 65 level of four different missions will be lowered to meet the recommended combat power. The difficulty level of two types of tyrant and ill omen blitz will be added four more. The boss's HP at five, at 15, 16 level of tyrant and ill omen blitz lowered. Two additional levels of difficulty are added to the harpy oni and altarf appearance battle. And then they also fix the bug that players cannot join raid assist. Fix the bug that players can accept the raid invitation while proceeding the open world request. Change higher mercenaries are not to attack the world boss before destroying a treasure box. Okay, which is fine because they did do that before. Previously, a raid generated player who consumed all the resurrection times in a raid together mode was defeated when his hero is dead. But now it is defeated when all the heroes are dead, which makes sense. It should have worked like uh, worked like that before, but oh well. Fix instant loss, instant loss when entering the solo mode of the raid slash world boss. Finding treasure box achievements will be added to Taya Valley, uh, Draconix Mountains, Rebel Kingdom Castle, Alunarheim, and then Khan Balik. Okay, okay, about time, about time. Change to find the same raid without checking the steps when using Find More Future. That was always annoying. Glad to have that change. Change to automatically resurrect in raid battle. Again, that was always annoying. Glad to have that. Like, why would I not want to resurrect? Why would I not want that? Optimize loading of data from the login screen. Optimize network processing speed. Change the menu position of the minigame to event pop up. And the new reward, new reward for participation in the minigame. And players can only receive a reward once a day after participating in the minigame. But here in red is automatic resurrection is only available from the autofill combat status. So I'm assuming, not autofill, autofill. So if you're running it on auto, like everyone should be, that means if your characters die, that they're just going to revive themselves instead of you having to tap it, which I don't. I don't know why I didn't do that before, but that is blessed. So pretty much his update is really just pets, two new costumes for the boys finally, and just a new area. I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it. There hasn't been any new characters added. There's no balance changes. There's no skill changes or anything like that. This is just a new area to the game, um, pets to help augment our, our, our character stats once again, along with L stones. And that's pretty much it, my boys. Um, definitely hope this video helps. Um, I do have a L Chronicle video on the way, so don't worry too much about that. Um, hope, hopefully, I can get it out later this week. But until then, my boys, hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you guys in the game. And if you haven't joined the Discord or visit the subreddit already, go ahead and slide on over. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.